Ah, great. This begins to quiet things down a little bit. Thank you. So people are still, still filing in, but we want to go ahead and get started. And uh, I, I suppose everybody has figured out that I'm Jim Hobart. Uh, and I don't, you know, I, I don't need to say anything more than that because uh, the, the, what we want to do is, is introduce our important guest tonight and, and say how honored we are to have you with us, Dr. C.T. Vivian. So, the Reverend Dr. C.T. Vivian um, was born in Missouri, small town Missouri, mm -hmm. and I think about the age of six, moved over to Macomb, Illinois. Mm -hmm. That's right. About five. So really. he, that's where he spent all of his growing up years, really, after six years old, was in Macomb, uh, attended Western Illinois University, mm -hmm. um, and uh, in, ended up after that in, was it Peoria? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and began to be a troublemaker in a Peoria, as I recall. <laughs> Working for the Y? Yeah. Uh, well, that was a little later. A little later. Yeah. Okay. But our community center first. Community was center. In Peoria, okay. yeah. And, and then he uh, decided that he was going to go to theological school. Yep. So he moved to uh, Nashville and attended the Baptist Seminary there. Sure. Okay. And, but was and, more a journalist than I was yeah. a student. And, and was very involved in Nashville as the, the, uh, the civil rights movement was beginning to grow and develop in Nashville. Um, he, he was uh, involved with CORE mm -hmm. during the era when James Farmer was the, the leader of CORE. He became a staff member for the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. And uh, anybody here not seen the pictures of uh, Dr. C.T. Vivian uh, having his conversation with the, the uh, county sheriff, Jim Clark? <laughs> if you've seen Eyes on the Prize, you've seen that. Um, I, I told him just a few minutes ago, I spent eight days in, in Selma in 1965, and there were, there were three people uh, on, the, on the SCLC staff that uh, impressed me. First of all, of course, Dr. Martin Luther King. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, <laughs> and, uh, and, and then there were, there were two other of the leadership team of Southern Christian Leadership Conference. People often refer to them as lieutenants to Dr. King. Mm -hmm. I like to think of them as allies to Dr. King because each of them brought something to that team that nobody else brought. That's right. And it wouldn't have been the same without any of them. So those, those two leaders, then there were, there were a couple of field workers at SCLC who also were very important to me or people he knew well. One was James Orange. Yep. Uh, and the other was Albert Turner. That's right. And they, um, they carried me around uh, central Alabama going into black churches saying, if this man could come all the way from, from uh, Chicago, uh, actually it was Massachusetts then, if he could come all the way from Massachusetts, you can come to Selma. It was mass meetings like we experienced last night to encourage people to come. So that, that was my, my experience on getting to know C.T. Vivian, and I've been uh, a, a great admirer of his ever since. I've had some opportunities subsequently to meet and greet him, and uh, have always uh, in, enjoyed that. Uh, the, the, the planning team will tell you that when we came to talk about who might we have as, as speakers here, that I was a, a great advocate for C.T. Vivian, and uh, they trusted my judgment. And so here we are. Um, his life has gone on since the era of the civil rights movement, and he's been involved in many, many things about which I think he will share some of that with us tonight. Um, 
So, Dr. C.T. Vivian, we're delighted to have you with us this evening. And he and I are going to have a conversation. Um, and then we hope to save a little time toward the end if people have questions they'd, they'd like to raise. So, the way this is organized is that uh, looking at it from the questions around uh, CT's early life when he was a youngster, and then during the era of the civil rights movement, and then what's he been doing since then? <laughs> so, um, Dr. Vivian, uh, as, a, as a child, you were growing up in Missouri and Illinois. Who were the earliest influences on life regarding your sense of your own self-worth and dignity and rights. And who was it that gave you these message, messages? Number one was my grandmother. Now, uh, if you're in an African-American community, uh, the only, pre only person that can, uh, uh, well, let's put it the other way, is that, uh, uh, is that your grandmother, huh? was as important to you in a, in a black home as, well, almost as God, right? Uh, almost. Uh, 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 that's right, that's right, that's right. And, uh, and uh, that's where you got most everything you were going to get, yeah, right? Yeah, so uh, grandmother was sort of God's representative on earth. Yeah, and that's true. And, uh, uh, and you may have, uh, you know, uh, 10 grandmothers and, uh, all of them in their household ah. uh, are about the same thing. Yeah, right? did, you, did you have brothers and sisters? No, I didn't. You were I a single child. didn't have any brothers, no, no sisters. Uh, uh, I was making it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in those early years, you mentioned that your family, your church, your school, all were what helped to give you your sense of, of your own worth and dignity precisely is that it was a matter of the church number one without doubt without right? doubt yeah. grandma really number one but she's part of the church life, You're right right and the two go together there's no separation there right and uh, uh, I remember uh, my grandmother wouldn't let me go to uh, to uh, church one one uh, uh, evening, uh, Wednesday, prayer meeting. She wouldn't let me go. I went, I went out, yeah. So I went for something I'd done. Right? Yeah. So I went out and laid down in, uh, in, in, in uh, remember this goes way back, uh, and uh, uh, went out and run in the, in the uh, uh, where the cars uh, went in the street, right? I laid down in there because, and let, going to let them run over me because my grandmother wouldn't let me go to church. Oh, right? I see. <laughs> you know, right? So you can get an idea of how important the church really was to yeah. me, right? Yeah. And, uh, uh, and my grandmother saw me, she came out and got me, and she washed me off and act like she was mad, but uh, I could see that smile. Yeah, I could and, see uh, the smile, yeah. 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 Well, let, let me let me kind of turn that around. If that if if those were the influences positively yeah. on you growing up, what were the the earliest Negative. experiences with with people who were denying you your dignity and, and your your rights and uh, your self worth? You see, uh, I only became nonviolent later in life. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, uh, and, 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 and seriously, I, I, have, uh, I have some doubt about how, how early to start your children uh, is to truly be nonviolent and understanding it. Uh, I have a son that uh, uh, has told me that uh, you didn't help me in those first years. He was, he said, because he took punishment rather than, than play with the idea of nonviolence yeah. in, our, in our neighborhood, right? 
uh, and uh, the, the uh, and I, I I have to ask myself that because I think this I know exactly the first time uh, somebody tried to try to beat me up I beat them up right now the point being is should I I'm nonviolent <laughs> yeah now now uh, 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 but the point being is I did as the uh, 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 I could whip everybody in school, in, in, my, in my school, except a uh, 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 guy in, in, uh, in uh, the sixth grade. We had uh, uh, two, four, six kind of, kind of, right? And the, uh, uh, nobody beat me up. Now that was interesting, and I had a, uh, 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 but I didn't want to beat anybody else up. So what I had is the, that nobody was going to fight anybody under, in a grade under them. I see. All right? Yeah. Now, I did not know, but I was working. That was my first real understanding of my wanting to be what we now call nonviolence. There wasn't any words for it. Remember? Yeah, you didn't have any yeah, concepts yeah, for yeah, it. That, that's right. I mean, remember, Gandhi was somebody we didn't even know about, right? Uh, as in, in basically in America. Right. Uh, it was it was really much later in the game, right? And the uh, uh, and so what I had, but I tell you, when I really became nonviolent. Uh, 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 his name almost came to me, but uh, he gave me a, a black uh, 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 Valentine card. You know, one of those uh, uh, things that made fun of blackness, yeah. and, uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? So uh, the teacher, uh, this was the depression. right? When you're as old as I am, you know what it means. You didn't just come on the edge of it. You were not eating it, if you understand what I mean, right? Uh, uh, you didn't have a lot of food <laughs> to eat it, and what you got was given, right? Right. Uh, and the uh, 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 and and so uh, and we were we were a pretty pretty difficult group. See, I I truly appreciate uh, 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 knowing that. Uh, uh, if you don't have food, clothing, shelter, decency around you, right, it is not your fault. Yeah. Right? It's, it's a culture should never let children be treated like that. Amen. Right? All right. All right. So let, let, me just, let me just shift this just a little bit. Um, <laughs> there you were, you grew up in Macomb, you went to Western Illinois. But then you left that area and, and moved over to Peoria. Yeah. And you were there in the community yeah, center. But I graduated from college. Then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, th then you, you decided you were going to be a preacher. Yeah. In fact, I was waiting for the calling uh, for, uh, for years. I mean, uh, uh, in fact, I was through college, I'd gone had already been chosen to go to Colgate. Right? Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't a matter of, uh, of uh, uh, not wanting to or couldn't or stuff like that. Right? Yeah. It, the point being is, I believe that you needed to be called to go to the ministry. Have a sense right? of calling, yeah. But that's exactly right. And, uh, uh, and as a result of that, I was not going to uh, go to, uh, uh, to, to seminary until that. But uh, they gave me a scholarship to Colgate, right? Yeah. But uh, then time had passed. I had, uh, I had uh, married and so forth because uh, 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 if I, and, and my, now watch that too. Uh, uh, see, uh, watch that one too because uh, that same son I was telling you about, uh, uh, he wanted to be a minister, but he wanted to be called. Yeah, because I was. Because right? you were. And I can I can tell tell he and all the world when I did. He knew that, right? 
So he did not want to go to ministry until he was actually called. In fact, uh, he went, uh, he, his undergraduate work uh, 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 was finished and he uh, went to uh, uh, a seminary, uh, uh, except it's up in the hills of, uh, of, uh, of uh, 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 North Carolina. Yeah. And, uh, and it was Presbyterian. And, uh, and, and, and it said this, that as we used to say as black people, he yeah. said, if you're not, if you're not, uh, 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 <laughs> I thought somebody said it, if you, if you are not uh, a Baptist, uh, maybe Methodist. Maybe. Yeah, somebody's been, <laughs> somebody's been messing with your religion, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, 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 and, uh, and so, <laughs> I love the way you shook your head, sister, because you, you know what we're talking about, right? Uh, 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 and, and, the, and the point being is that that was that was kind of a basic understanding is that uh, uh, you have to really know what religion's all about or you have no business deciding you are going to be uh, 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 a, a, a person for God and you haven't done anything but decide that uh, it's a nice place to be. It's got to be. It's got to be deep. It you can't just, just be up in your head. It's got to right, be in God. your your heart. That's exactly right, and it has to mean something. In fact, on those kind of issues, one thing stands out: what have you done, not what have you thought? Exactly. Amen. So, you 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 got the call. You found your way to Nashville. Yeah. Okay, and, and you told me earlier that, that very early on that James Farmer was an important person for you in your, your development. Sure. When I was in Peoria, see, I was, see there's years in between uh, sort of thing. One of the main differences between black and white uh, churches and ministry yeah. is that uh, 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 it's, it's a slow thing for us. Right. Most of us are really married before we uh, uh, come into ministry. We don't go straight from... Yeah, you're not from, 21 from, years old. And, and that's exactly yeah. right. You're not, you know, you just don't go like you're going through grade school into high mm -hmm. school, right? Is that, uh, uh, it isn't that way. Uh, uh, and uh, I met a lot of white guys later on that that was also true of, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and, the, and so uh, when you when you really gave it real meaning, it had to come out of something deeper then. When I got the call to the ministry, uh, uh, I, I didn't want, I wanted to tell my wife, I had to tell my wife, right? Oh. But the point is, I didn't want to. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, 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 because uh, I would uh, be going away to school yeah. without an income. She had the only, the only job. Yeah. But so the night uh, that I told her, uh, 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 we, uh, uh, she said to me, she says, uh, uh, I got a secret to tell you. That, and uh, she's cooking the evening meal. Uh, that's, that was way back when they did it by themselves. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and the, uh, and, uh, uh, and, and uh, so, uh, uh, she, I said, I got something to tell you. She said, me first. Me first, yeah. Uh, uh, she never said me first. She says, I, am, I will be first. I will be first. <laughs> uh, uh, That's pretty yeah, definitive. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, you know. Uh, uh, and uh, you understood that, right? Yeah. Uh, 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 and so uh, I said, okay, baby. And uh, uh, so we had our evening meal, and uh, we went up to bed, and... Uh, uh, and we were in, lying in the dark looking at the ceiling. And uh, 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 she said, remember, I'm first. So she told me. And she told me we're having a child. Ah. Now, that was our first child, right? And, the, uh, uh, and then, so, then she said, tell me what you have to tell me. <laughs> well, you see, it got worse because you know, uh, we, we weren't just man and wife now. We had a family to you take care of, right? And, the, uh, and, uh, uh, and so I said, no. 
since I... I, I <laughs> no need to go into that. Yeah, that that's right, that's right. And, uh, uh, and uh, uh, she, uh, so uh, I said, uh, no, she's, and uh, uh, so I told her finally, because, you know, you tell your wife everything. <laughs> well, I don't know, I don't know all the details, but I do know you ended up Nash in Nashville going yeah, to school. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. And yeah. that was, and that was where you, you began to, to have a connection with James Farmer, was uh, in Nashville? No, no, oh no, I, I, I mean Foreman. Uh, Foreman. Uh, 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 Foreman was a long time before because well, that see, was I earlier. Left, uh, yeah, see, I hadn't left uh, 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 Peoria. Uh, okay. See, see, Jim Farmer was ahead of most. Yes. Give me a point. And uh, uh, there's a movie on Jim. Uh, his his father knew Greek so well. You see, he sat out underneath the tree in his campus and uh, and uh, 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 laugh at the Greek jokes. Uh, 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 he was he was really uh, and that was Jim. Uh, Jim was trained that way, right? Yeah. And uh, then uh, Jim uh, uh, went to a seminary and uh, would not take would not take the 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 uh, 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 his diploma. He wouldn't accept his diploma. No, because he said. Uh, 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 it, it wasn't. It wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth. It. it was what it did not do was as important to him as what it did do. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, and uh, you see, see, really, what I'm saying to you is this: to most of us, the stuff that other people took for granted and like having and thought that was great stuff, it wasn't even serious enough to take. Right? Yeah. Seriously, see, see, Jim Farmer graduated and, and immediately uh, went to the unions, mm -hmm. right? See, because uh, he, he, didn't want to, he didn't want to uh, uh, teach something that he did not like or do something that he had no, that gave no meaning to his life or the life of other people, right? right. Uh, and that was all of us who were movement people, right? Uh, uh, you, you've got to give that, to, and remember, that was 12 years before Martin. Right? That's right. See, my first actions were 12 years before before Martin. Emerged in 55. Yeah, you see yeah. what I mean? That's a long time uh, yeah. uh, when, uh, when uh, Farmer and the, and the labor unions, yeah. uh, because you, then you were talking about real life. Huh? Yeah. How do you deal with uh, 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 how people are going to live? What kind of uh, food are they going to have a chance to eat? Uh, FDR was, uh, was there right. uh, making certain that at least you were fed because other people didn't, huh? Right. Uh, uh, and, uh, and, and youth, uh, uh, you had the CCC, you had the youth. Listen, we would not have been able to be ready for any kind of activity as a nation if it hadn't been for those programs that really gave a chance for young people to have something, right? Yeah. Uh, and the CCC uh, was yeah, the Civilian yeah, Conservation Corps. Nation Corps, Corps. that's exactly right. Uh, uh, it, it's, it's, you know, you, when you really see it, you have to think about what does it mean to be a minister, right? Uh, okay. Uh, is it to have a degree and say, ah, Mama, I'm Daddy, I'm, uh, hey, I'm all right now. I'm going to be able to take care of myself. Uh, 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 is that what it's about? Is that, uh, uh, and, and Jim was uh, that kind of fellow. Uh, in fact, the uh, uh, first time I met Jim, uh, we had a long conversation. And he said that, that uh, uh, he was in a, uh, 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 trailer. Uh, where his office was as a union person, right? And uh, he says, uh, and uh, the light was on that night. Uh, well, he always had light on. You know, I mean, you're working. You know, you're, you're working. Winter time comes quick, right? And uh, he says, uh, uh, a bullet came came through his window, but high. Remember, see, business people didn't mind killing labor labor leaders, right? 
Yeah. Uh, you, you know, see, I can just tell your ages by by how you answer questions like that, right? It is because uh, you 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 had to live it uh, because you were already in a, a nation that didn't want you if you were poor, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, and the uh, 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 and he he said uh, uh, he knows that the guy that shot through the window intended to miss him. Intended to miss him. Yeah, because he said. Uh, nobody then could really miss through even a short window if the light was behind it. Yeah. Uh, 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 because uh, uh, you also uh, had had a rifle in order to have food. Yeah, that's right. You know, I mean, hunting. It, it, yep. it was a whole different world. Right. Uh, and the uh, and, and we we think, oh, they wouldn't have to do that now. <laughs> So, uh, yes, they would, and not going to do it too too bad. So I I, I think that uh, we all need to get re ready for uh, what I think is going to be coming uh, uh, is that uh, that we're going to see billionaires come together and run it all. All right, and and, and when they run it all, you can bet that uh, at the bottom of it is going to be a lot of people that, that, that didn't make it, yep. don't make it, and won't make it, all right? Yep. Uh, uh, and that's where we come in. Hmm? Uh, that's where ministry has meaning. That's where churches that care about people come in. Yeah, and, and just to remind people that, that core organized the Freedom Rides That's right. that came down Back from the, Washington in, in the 1950s, 40, yeah, the 50s. 40, yeah, late 40s or late 40s, 50s. early 50s, the first Freedom Rides. That's right. Yeah. See? So he had, a, he had an impact on your life. And uh, so, so there you are in, in, in Nashville. And uh, as I recall, having been there myself, Highlander Folk School is not that far away. It's down the road toward Chattanooga. That's exactly right. And uh, I had the good fortune when I was 17 years old to spend several weeks there in the summertime. Uh, one of those transformative events in my life to be in that environment where at, at that time still the major focus w was on labor organizing and education. Right. But that was 52 and it's very soon began to shift. So could you tell us about a little bit about your experience with Highlander and the, the staff people there? Okay, in my case, it was a little later. <laughs> and what I mean by that is this. You heard the story about uh, Martin King was a communist, and we know because he was at that communist camp up there. Yeah. Uh, 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 is that uh, 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 the... Uh, uh, the thing, the, uh, why that stands out for me, because I was with Martin at, at the time he was there, and he was, he just came, went there to give a speech, right? And, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and we left right after he gave the speech. I mean, immediately after we left the speech, but they had signs all up the, down the highway, right? Uh, so you know who owned all those coal mines. Uh, 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 is that you, Martin, had left within 20 minutes after, after uh, 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 he finished the speech. Yeah. Right? Uh, but uh, that gives you an idea of the, the low level of, of life. Uh, 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 and how they would put you in jail for nothing, yep. right? And uh, how uh, you also had a hard time getting a job if you talked about helping poor people. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I just, 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 I just want you to hear this because if, if you're younger, you really don't know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let me ask you this. Um, one of the things I found at Highlander uh, was the, the music director there was a woman named Zilphia Horton. Yeah. Uh, and she was the wife, wife. of the director of, right. of 
the uh, Highlander Folk School, yeah. Miles Horton. Yeah. Uh, she had gone off to South Carolina to organize some tobacco workers around there Charleston. You go. And she picked up an, an, an old spiritual hymn and she recast it into We Will Overcome. We shall overcome. Actually, no, Pete Seeger changed it's, it's, the will uh, to yeah, shall. But, 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 but before Pete Seeger, there was, uh, it was, uh, uh, it really was uh, 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 a gospel. Yeah, hymn. it was a gospel hymn, hymn. right. And, and it was, and the words of it, far more profound than any uh, uh, before or since, right? Okay. Uh, if in my heart I do not yield, I shall see God someday. Okay. That's, that's the original. That's when, the original. When, when it was a gospel song. Yeah. When it was so, a, 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 you see what I mean, when we made it up on the fields. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Z Zilfia recast it into she did. We Will we'll overcome, overcome, which then Pete Seeger looked at and said, shall's a better word. Yeah. And then there was a guy named Guy Carawan. A guy. Who, who got involved with SNCC. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, he well, was, and he was you, the music director. Let me tell you about that. Yeah, tell me about <laughs> yeah. Guy Carawan. See, yeah, see, because uh, Guy first came to Nashville. Yeah. All right, there wasn't any SNCC, all right? Uh, 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 you, you have to understand, there wasn't any SNCC. Before that, SNCC. Uh, uh, that, that's right. Now, and, uh, and, there, and SCLC was just getting underway for young people in Nashville. Uh -huh. Right? Is that Guy comes in town, and, uh, uh, and, and, when Guy, and Guy had, for several years, uh, uh, he taught at a school in California. And for several years, he came to, to uh, 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 South Carolina, right? Uh, and because uh, he was hunting for the songs and making them authentic for uh, uh, about how they were really sung in those days, right? Uh -huh. uh, 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 in the backwoods of South Carolina uh, by the people who started it, right? Right. And, uh, uh, and so uh, uh, Guy, uh, Guy uh, learned them the right way. How you like this? If if if, <laughs> if if in my heart I do not yield, I shall see God someday. I just told you that one, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, right. So I got another one for you. Right. <laughs> Is that uh, uh, a guy? Guy said, uh, uh, "Oh goodness sakes!" Guy had guy made up songs and he found songs that were just. Uh, just tremendous. Uh, uh, ain't I got a right to the tree of life? All right. That ain't bad. Huh? All right. And see what I mean? Is that uh, 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 this is this is the kind of stuff that movement produced, right? And uh, uh, and a guy produced it. No sooner had it become famous, right? Hollywood gets in on the act. And nobody knows that Guy Carawan existed. Yeah. Right? Is that uh, 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 we could have had 10 uh, 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 movement songs uh, uh, that the nation would have been able to, yeah. to, to have, right? Uh, uh, but uh, a guy, a guy would uh, take his, uh, his uh, uh, banjo, uh, it's one of those kind of uh, uh, instruments. And I'm, I'm, I'm from the city, you see. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, and, they, uh, and, and he'd start patting his foot, right? And, uh, and he'd come up with all these wonderful, wonderful songs, boy. And uh, uh, is that every people's movement, and that's what we're talking about, right? is people's movement, every people's movement, does more for a nation than, than, than a half a dozen different uh, times that you have a new Congress. Right, and they ride, they ride, <laughs> they, those movements all ride on the people's music. That's exactly right. See, because uh, they, they, uh, they, they create it, right? is the, uh, 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 when veterans came back, 
Hmm? Right. The, the same thing happened, right? And when they, when they uh, 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 went to the Capitol, right, just to ask to get money back that they were already owed, oh, right? And then, uh, and, uh, uh, and the generals that had led them into battle while they slayed back in the back <laughs> uh, 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 were daring enough yep. yeah, to, to, to make all those soldiers, former soldiers, all right, that was, came in just trying to get something to eat, uh, some money, and who came by boxcar, right? All right, uh, and uh, 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 they, uh, 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 the generals that had led them into battle were the same ones now that was uh, 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 burning up the little shacks they had and all that sort of thing and, and shooting them out of position. Right, these were veterans of World War I. That's exactly right. Yeah, so, so okay, the, the, the people's music influenced all those movements. I, some, That's the point. Yeah, some of us are familiar with uh, a little r book called the Red Book that the Wobblies, International Wobblies, Workers of the World, yeah. <laughs> put, put together in the, in the first part of the century. Every movement you look at, whether yeah. it be around labor or civil rights or whatever, uh, and continuing to today, That's rides right. on that music as being mm -hmm. central to what motivates and energizes precisely it. and and just to get my piece in yeah uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> most of that music goes back to to uh, 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 spirituals yes see what I mean is that uh, 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 and and it goes back to workers again it goes back to people who 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 uh, were thinking, had to be thinking about our humanity, yeah. not how much money you're going to make. Mm -hmm. And we, we've got some of those kind of musicians with us this, this weekend. Yeah, that's, that's why I can keep talking. <laughs> yeah. so I'd, I'd like to just shift gears just a little bit Oh, now. sure, Doug. Uh, can you tell us about the influences outside the broad Christian tradition that had an impact on you? And I mean, I already have a sense of, of where, where you might go with that. But, I, you know, for example, uh, Mohandas Gandhi. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 since you've mentioned that one. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, uh, the point being is, is that it's, it's so important because we got to know little or nothing about Gandhi here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you know who did? people who were suffering. Now, uh, uh, see, that's why uh, Martin King knew uh, nonviolent direct action. People that were seeking for a way to get rid of oppression, right? See, black people were the first to be talking about Gandhi. Why? In America, right? Why? Because we were trying to find a uh, 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 a strategy to do what they did to the British. Yeah, gotcha. So you know what I mean? Is that uh, uh, because this country was the oppressor. Yeah. All right? And we had to find a way to convert them. You can play with the language, right? Uh, uh, but, and, and th th very, very important is that uh, how do you convert people who control the country you're in, control the wealth, control everything else in it, huh? and they're on top, and they are in, in, in a Wall Street situation, all right? And you think you're going somewhere, but you may never get there. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's 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 a, a question play into the crowd. Um, someplace along the line, you discovered that there were people out there whose religion was Unitarian or Unitarian Universalist, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So what what could you tell us about what you thought about those people? Well, a, <laughs> listen, Doc. 
I really, I, 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 you're one of the groups that I was concerned about. Uh, uh, but, uh, we appreciate but, that. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Uh, but but, uh, but uh, no, but you see, because you were different. And we didn't find the racism with you that we found with most other churches, right? Uh, uh, and and that, that, that's the glory piece. You see, uh, can you be a Christian and a racist at the same time? No. No. A real Christian? There we go. I mean, a real Christian. Can no, you, you can't. be, uh, 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 because what is, there's only three important words. Huh? As, as uh, justice, truth, and love. Amen. And if you're, and if you're, and if you're, uh, and if, you're uh, uh, if your understanding of religion is so low that you think that you can fool God, <laughs> uh, right? uh, uh, then you, you know you. Uh, uh, you have to find a whole nother way to live. But the point is they're escaping it. How can you be a racist hating people when the central uh, uh, thing, the central word for all, uh, for most all religion, but definitely for Christianity, right, is love, all right? Uh, how can you then talk about being a Christian, right? Uh, I just like to ask, uh, do, was your granddaddy a, a Christian? And you are Southern Baptist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, very concerned, right? Uh, uh, because you see, what you have to see when you see movement, it was, it was about moral and spiritual things that Martin was about. It's not an accident that Martin King has a PhD in philosophical theology, right? And it's, and it's not an accident that he was in the street working with folk and, uh, 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 and deciding that uh, uh, people had to be free of the problems that they were, that were destroying them, all right? Is that uh, it's not an accident, huh? It's just that he's knowledgeable, all right? Uh, uh, and, when we, and when we really understand our religion, Right, uh, the basic one, which all of us practically all of us came up uh, up up on. Uh, all right, uh, is that uh, uh, love is the whole whole thing. Yeah, nobody they, has no religion has the corner on that. Yeah, but uh, but they, that's that's the point. See, because it's what you do for other people and to other people, huh? Uh, uh, that's what it's about. Do you love somebody? Huh? That's the major piece. There's no, been no great religion since, since Jesus. Why? Because he got, he's got it all wrapped up in a thing. It's re it, it, but really, I know what you're saying, but, but if you don't love somebody, you have to ask yourself, are you religious at all? Huh? And it doesn't matter what name you put on it. Right? Well, let, let me ask you this question. How, Sorry, did, how did you love Jim Clark down in Selma? Yeah, uh, I did. In fact, <laughs> tell in us fact, about that. Oh, I will. Uh, uh, uh. I, listen, see, I didn't hit Jim Clark. Jim Clark hit me. I know that. Right. Uh, knocked me down. I got up. You know why? Because God allowed me to. See, see, I don't play with that stuff, right? Uh, it's, it's serious, right? Is that, is that uh, everything I've done in the movement uh, has been because God was with me. Hmm? Uh, uh, it's just like the wife, you know, same, same story, all right? We didn't have anything, but hey, we can still love our neighbor. And, uh, and in fact, I just uh, I had a, 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 a board, I was on the board of a bank, all right? Uh, 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 we, we put $100,000, only time we had $100,000 to, <laughs> right? And, and uh, we, we put the $100,000 into a bank because black people in, in Atlanta needed a bank, 
All right, the point being is, you know what the wife said? The wife said sooner or later, because you know, you talk, you know, you, you don't, you know, you don't take that lightly. You don't come home and say, uh, you know, the last dollar we got, <laughs> we're going to put in it so I can be on the board of a damn bank. Right? <laughs> Is that you just don't do that, right? And uh, 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 and uh, but you see, what happened? My wife said to me when I asked her about it, should we or shouldn't we? And she says, uh, 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 we put the little money we've had in the movement and everything that went with it. Right? Yeah. She said, uh, and the next great battle we're going to have to have is a matter of income. Uh, the great battle we're going to have to have is a matter of, of can people have enough to really get a decent education? Or are you just getting an education from those uh, that uh, 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 control everything? Yeah. Uh, and, but you can't get anything because you don't have enough money to have an education for your children. Yeah. Right? And it just, well, pardon me. But, but, uh, but uh, no, I started to tell you something else. But, uh, 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 but, but, uh, but see, but that's, that, that's, that's, that's the point, you know, is that uh, uh, do you love people enough to, uh, to uh, 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 and my wife did. She says, hey, says, we've got to fight the economic battle sooner or later. And yeah. that people shouldn't have to be without simply because uh, we, we haven't won yet, right? Uh, and uh, we lost it all, but it took them 23 years to get us, right? My point being is, is that for 23 years, we've been helping people. And you know, as soon as our bank went down, you know what happened? Telephone calls kept coming to everybody was on the board, mm -hmm. black or white. Black or white. Yeah, uh, uh, because we had both, right? Uh, uh, and it came back, uh, and it was really a black bank. But uh, uh, two guys stayed right till the end. Uh, two, two white guys stayed right till the end. Uh, uh, two other white guys, and I tell you this because you're, you're one of the few groups that's going to be inter, interracial in fact. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. All right? And, and uh, 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 it, it, how, how, how do we have these successes? I got a, a guy who wrote and said, uh, would, you, would you write me a thing for my new book? And he said, I want them to know uh, uh, that, uh, that, we, that interracial uh, uh, material works when mm -hmm. people are serious. See what I mean? If they just want to say, oh, you know, we had, we had them over for dinner. <laughs> so ar around that concept of, of, of love and, and the universality of love. One of my theological educators was my daughter when she was three years old. <laughs> and she was upset with me about something and she said, Daddy, she said, I love you, but I sure don't like you. Yeah, that's right, Doc. And, and I think and, we can apply that to that, Jim Clark that, too, that, right? That, in fact, uh, oh yeah, we were talking about Jim Murray. Look, <laughs> look, look, let me tell you, let me tell you about Jim Clark. You know, Jim Clark uh, uh, went to jail. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, when he got out of jail, and because he was uh, breaking the law, really breaking the law, uh, 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 this seems like uh, some of you know all of that, right? But, uh, but the point being is, is that he, uh, 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 he, he was being paid by people who ran uh, liquor from, from uh, 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 the Gulf uh, on, yeah. on the way up to Chicago to work and be dispersed everywhere, right? Uh, uh, is that uh, is, is the, the uh, uh, that was, and, and the same people that told him, oh boy, Jim, you're a wonderful pe person, right? Were the first people to let him down, huh? Uh, uh, because they knew he was wrong all the time. But let me give it to you. I talked with some nuns, all right, that uh, uh, were in Selma, who came back to do studies on Selma, mm -hmm. right? And uh, uh, 
And, and this woman said, it took them 20 years in this town before they came to an understanding that what they were doing was wrong. Wow. That's how deep the hate, the, 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 that's how deep it all is. Somebody needs to save the society. Amen. Uh, and we don't have to talk about it as though we're talking about Jesus after a while and God this and God that, right? Is the point being is we've got to talk about it like we believe it. All right? Okay. Uh, well, talking about nuns um, reminds me of women. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so far. <laughs> so, <laughs> The, the question I have for you, could, you, could yeah. you reflect for us a little bit on the women in the movement, Yeah, many of whom were not as well known as the men in the movement, but were also very important. So the, who, who could you tell us about and what can you tell us about them? A quick way to do it is our wives, all right, is that uh, my, my, my wife uh, 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 cared uh, the s same level that I did. Yeah. about everything, right? But we had six children, right? And, and she, she was more concerned about that than uh, anything else. And, but she taught them hmm, right. uh, uh, while, she was, uh, while she was rearing them. Hmm? And when I came home, listen, my wife could have made my children hate me. <laughs> it would have been easy, right? I mean, I was gone all the time, right? uh, 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 and uh, 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 making something happen, we hope, and it did, it happened, right? It could have not happened. Could right? have not happened. That's exactly right. And, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, my, and my wife uh, just uh, was very clear the, uh, when she talked to the kids. Uh, listen, let me tell you, the Ku Klux Klan ran a group uh, not ran the group, I mean they had a group of Klansmen going past our, our front door and I, I wasn't home. Where were you living then? Uh, uh, in uh, uh, right below, uh, 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 what, what's the uh, big, uh, 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 <laughs> huh? pardon me, no. Uh, I, I was thinking about we were living right outside of uh, of, uh, of Atlanta. Atlanta, yeah. Uh, uh, Decatur. Decatur. But Decatur sure. is where the uh, where the big rock, Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain. Right? Mountain. Yes. They would go up to Stone Mountain, right, to uh, to burn uh, a cross. Oh, the great Christians, and uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, uh, and. and and as a result, right, is that uh, my wife, they could have come in on my wife at any time, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, but, and my wife wrote a book on Coretta, okay. Mrs. King, right? I, you know why I think she wrote it? She never would say it directly, but the, <laughs> uh, but, but the thing is, is that why she did is because she admired uh, Coretta, because she knew what Coretta had to put up with, all right? <laughs> that here you are, right? Uh, uh, and here's your husband's gone all the time, right? Uh, you, you don't know what's going to happen, right? And, uh, and that's the way the wise of movement were, yeah. all right? And, the, uh, 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 and uh, so, but we get all the honor, you know? Oh, yes, OCT is something. <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, uh, but my wife is, is uh, you know, is suffering. Uh, Coretta, uh, we see her uh, smiling and laughing, right? But you didn't see her all the time because the right. cameras only take it when they need it, right? Is that uh, 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 the wives of, of action people, and it's not just our movement, right? Uh, they uh, uh, are the ones that suffer because it's all the time. And they happen to love you. 
right? And those are the only people that you know that love you, by the way. You get my point? Yeah. And, uh, 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 and when you think about it, right? And, and, and listen, if anybody, if anybody is going to do something like put their life on the line uh, so they can be admired, forget it. Forget it. Yeah. Because they've forgotten about you two weeks later. All right? So, uh, uh, you know. Well, uh, let me ask you this. I mean, I, I couldn't agree with you more that, that you know, the, the home life and instilling values into our children is central, and there've got to be parents to do that. That's exactly uh, right. In addition to that, though, in the movement itself, there were activist women. There, in fact, th and, there and, were, uh, and they were, they were basically younger, and they didn't have children. Mm hmm right. Uh, 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 and, or they had a job in the local. Well, local but you, in Nashville, you must have known Ella Baker. Yeah, oh, yeah. And in you, fact, must, I, you must have known Diane Nash. Oh, uh, Diane Nash was a student. I definitely know Diane And you know what I love? is that there were more guys involved than women, and they voted Diane as a leader uh, of all the student movement yeah. that was going on there, right? Uh, uh, see, this is what, when you really love people and you're working for something beyond your own ego, huh? uh, 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 you don't care who's the leader, are they worth leading, uh, worth being a leader, right? And, uh, and so you do it. I, uh, you don't care. I, I belong to a community church. Found out that, uh, that, uh, 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 that there was a white community church, right? Uh -huh. And so we decided that we were going to come together. And uh, because it, we didn't care whether it's white or black or yellow or pink, uh, God's not, right? So what makes a difference, right? So, uh, uh, and, and what happened was that uh, uh, we met one year and, uh, and we decided every other person, every other in the line of the president and vice, uh, the president would be one, the vice president would be, be then uh, the other color, right? <laughs> uh, and uh, and you go all that way all down the quest. We said we were gonna do it for three years. We only did it one year. One. Because we found out that's eh, kind of stupid, right? Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 now, but it did what it was only because we found out that it was true. Huh? Yeah. But just because the Southern Baptist Church uh, 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 has a black church now, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't mean they're not racist. <laughs> right? uh, right? Right? Uh, 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 see, but they can't. Kind of, they kind of think so. Yeah. Okay. So, so we've we've covered a good bit of of, of your early life. Yeah. Oh, we've, yeah. We've Back talked about that. your your <laughs> activist life during yeah. the the period of the civil rights movement, but you've had a pretty long life since then. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, what did I do? What have you been doing with yourself? Oh. I haven't, I've been waiting for that one. <laughs> no, no, uh, here, here's the thing, is that that's a decision I really had to make. Uh, uh, now that the movement was basically over, yeah. what am I going to do? There's only one thing I cared about, that we uh, got, would, would continue to get rid of racism in the land of the free and the home of the brave. Right? So I started doing workshops, right? And, uh, and I had the best workshops in the nation. I mean, they, they I'll tell you that. And my son has now done it, right? Uh, 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 when people went through our workshop, they never forgot it. Don't, don't yet, right? It's because it grew out of people that were deeply concerned about getting rid of racism, not how much money they made, right? I, you know, here I go. It sounds like uh, bragging, but it's not. It's too late for all that. My, my son. Uh, 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 <laughs> but but, the, but uh, 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 my, my son uh, took over for me, right? Uh, but uh, the years before, while he was, 
uh, in the military trying to figure out, I know what that sounds like, but uh, in the <laughs> military, uh, uh, is that uh, 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 getting, getting trained and ready and all that sort of thing, right? He was just in the military, he came out because he saw me on Oprah Winfrey's show, mm -hmm. right? First time anybody had been on her show two days in a row, right? And boom, two days in a row. And she saw it, and she was, he was ready to, to go to the next level of, uh, of military and, and decided not to sign up. And he left and came on back home and said, teach me. The point being is, I did, but you know what? He's better than I am now because things have changed. Huh? And this is the big story, right? Not about that, but about the whole culture. Mm -hmm. We have changed because we laid it on the line early, right? We had a great leader and we had a strategy. Yeah. And that strategy is nonviolent direct action. Hmm? And we can never get rid of the problems that we have until we get rid of violence. Hmm? All right. So th that sounds to me like what you might claim would be your advice to uh, the younger folks and to the activists about uh, uh, where they ought to be investing their lives. Is, is, am I right about that? Uh, well, you know, since you said it, and I'm thinking about it, uh, I think so. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 that's it, though, is that uh, 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 until we are ready to love people, we are never going to, I mean, as a, as a human race, right, is that we, until we love other people, we're playing games with ourselves. Yeah. Uh, 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 Gandhi, uh, Gandhi came into, uh, uh, Gandhi came, came into uh, London uh, uh, because he had beat the British and they knew it now, finally. And they just wanted to get off looking good. So uh, uh, he comes in and uh, 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 they call him, they ask him to come in. He comes in the plane. They were, they're getting ready to say, we, we've been wrong all the time, you know what I mean? But they can't say it until they say it in a certain way, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 and, so, uh, 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 and so Gandhi's getting off of the plane. And remember back in, in the days that most of us in here knew, <laughs> you walk down the steps. Uh, 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 and uh, on to the uh, 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 dirt and on into the uh, uh, on, on into the uh, 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 place. So he's he 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 is uh, walking down the steps, and uh, the old man now he's an old man now. You know he was in jail for 17 years, uh, 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 and never gave up the struggle. If that isn't something for all the rest of us. Yeah. Right? Uh, but he won, right? He won over the whole British Empire, who like to brag that uh, they, you know, the sun never sets on British soil. Boy, aren't we somebody? We kill everybody that tries not to, uh, to, to obey us. <laughs> aren't we somebody? Because we can kill more of them than they can kill of us, right? Yeah is that uh, 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 that's the way it sounds, isn't it? And uh, uh, until we get rid of violence and somebody, somebody, the old man's walking down, 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 and, uh, and somebody says, uh, Mr. Gandhi, how do you, what do you think of Western civilization? <laughs> and uh, the old man looked around and he, he uh, looked at, I think he, he knew where the sound came from anyway, but he was, you know, playing that game. I've seen politicians play too. <laughs> where, where, uh, uh, who was that that Yekko uh, 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 just hollered at me, you know, and was putting me down and, and so forth. Oh, it's you, Jim. Uh, 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 how are you, Jim? Uh, how's, your, how's your father and mother, uh, right? <laughs> but uh, so, so he, uh, uh, 
uh, he's, he's walking down and they say, uh, Mr. Gandhi, what do you think of Western civilization? And the old man looked around and he, he said, oh, says, uh, what do I think of Western civilization? He says, yes. He says, it would be a good idea. It would be a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let, let me ask you a question about a couple of, of, of current uh, active movements yeah, that's that, right. that, that have a lot of young people involved with them. And one of them would be the Occupy movement. The Occupy movement is that the, the problem with it it didn't do the basic things that a movement has to do. Okay. All right. You see, you have to have a strategy that you use, right? Uh, it doesn't matter what the strategy is, will it work? Number one. Number two, you've got to train your people, all right? And uh, 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 they didn't. I had six of these, but I only have two or three of them now because it's been a long time. Yeah. Is that right? You know, I mean, that's been, I'm very honest, you know. Is that, uh, uh, and, and, uh, uh, and you have to understand that you've got to be with it over a long length of time, and you've got to train your leadership. Okay. Right? And if you don't, you, you just run into uh, uh, a no win situation. Mm -hmm. See, this is why we have to talk about the mass. Uh, 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 movements before us, right? This is why we train people in nonviolent direct action, right? What Gandhi learned huh, is stuff that we got to learn now. We got to learn it now. That's right. Yeah. And the point being is, we think because we make money, we're the best thing in the world, all right? Uh, uh, but uh, uh, the only people who are going to get any of it, you know, speaking of Gandhi, you know, the thing that stands out for me is that that I, I know, and I am really. No, we're doing fine. Okay, we're doing, we're doing fine. fine. All right, good. He looked down at his watch, and I. <laughs> <laughs> As though he had a right to. <laughs> but uh, but, but uh, 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 the the uh, uh, <laughs> I forgot where I was. <laughs> But uh, 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 is that not? Uh, uh, yeah, but now, uh, uh, yeah, but uh, uh, Gandhi, yeah, but I got rid of most of the Gandhi story. <laughs> yeah, oh, Occupy. Uh, see, it's training people is what, it, what it, where I was, all right? Is that uh, there are certain principles you've got to know where if you're to move people, right? I, you know, you know that. I mean, you got a church, right? Uh, you didn't get it by uh, saying, just come whenever you want to. You know, <laughs> it just doesn't work. Right? It doesn't work that way. <laughs> and the, uh, 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 in fact, you've got someone being trained right now in your church. All right. right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Is that uh, uh, you have to be able to train people. There was no real, real coverage uh, on the group. They went out of business eh? because uh, people stopped coming because they didn't know where you're going. Yeah. They don't see what your aims are. Huh? Uh, 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 and uh, is it really going to help anybody? And if it doesn't help anybody, nobody is going to give their time for it. OK, well, let, let's, let's move ahead to a newer movement that also has a lot of young people involved with it, Black Lives Matter. Oh, uh, see, the point is, they're making the same mistake that that uh, that uh, Occupy uh, Occupy made. See, in fact, they they are copying uh, uh, Occupy too much, because uh, until you really train people, until you let them know that you love them, not that you're just getting back at somebody. All right. See, this is why love has to be the center of any kind of revival. Yeah. Yeah. It just has to be. Right? And, 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 uh, and we're going to win the world with love. We're not going to win it with just uh, 
uh, you know, uh, uh, hating and getting back and disliking and uh, showing you, uh, I'm going to show you what we can do. Huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you've got to love somebody. Okay. I've got one more question for you, and then maybe we'll give people who are here an opportunity to raise a few questions, too. But if we can stop those that are going to run out right quick. <laughs> Lock no, I, 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 I'm, I'm joking. I don't think you need to worry about that. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the final question that, that I have for you is, um, it's true today that fewer and fewer people are claiming any connection to institutional religion, to religious community. Uh, or to even a particular religious faith tradition. Sure. Um, and it might be summarized in that attitude that's expressed by some people, I'm spiritual, but I'm not religious. So my, my question to ask you to address is, in a, in a situation like this, in, in, in this current time, uh, what might be our new covenant together? Our, our new agreement in, that, in the face of that religious situation about, among the coalition of activists. Um, and is it deep enough and broad enough to be sustained? You, I mean, you already spoke a little bit about that with Occupy and, and Black yeah, Lives Matter. So precisely. could you reflect on, on that, that a little bit more? See, here it is. You know, we all got a thick book of all the religions, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Now, the real thing is, if you notice how they come, they keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, it, and, 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 uh, and, and if you're dealing with, with Matthew, uh, uh, is it, it comes down to just one word. Guess what that word is. That's it. <laughs> I, I think I mentioned it a couple of times, <laughs> but, 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 but that's it, see? And this is why Jesus is so important. He, he wrapped it all up, all right, with the concept of love. And then he went further than that. So you don't keep playing with it and acting like uh, uh, it's, uh, that, uh, 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 that it's, you know, just uh, uh, lovey one another, you know. It's loving one another as I have loved you. There's no golden rule, huh? Because the golden rule isn't that golden, <laughs> all right? And that's the real thing, is that uh, you have to really love people and not a person or two, right? Yeah. Or those who they come to are members of my church, <laughs> all right? You have to really show your love for people. We can change the world if we want to love folk instead of build a new church, all right? I'm, I'm really, I'm, uh, uh, that this is what it's all about. People need to know that somebody loves them. And when they know somebody loves them, that's when it makes the difference, huh? That's the group they want to be with, right? Okay. Uh, uh, We, we still do have a few minutes. I don't know if we can find a microphone for, there it is. So if people have a question, and let's really make it a question uh, that they'd like to ask, uh, come up here and, and make it as brief a question as you can muster. <laughs> Dr. Vivian. Yeah. Um, I would like to ask you about the tremendous training that is now possible uh, at a college level with almost no expense, zero tuition through University of the People. Yeah. Uh, I'm so impressed by this, and I'm wondering what you see in this program that allows people to get an accredited bachelor's degree or associate degree sure. in either business administration or computer science. In fact, in a number of other fields. Now, shouldn't our churches and our libraries and others be trying to help young people get into this wonderful training that will help them learn ethics, 
help them learn reasoning and many other things. Oh boy, it's a, it's a great idea. In fact, let me tell you what I did. We had, uh, we had so many, uh, 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 so you know what my answer is going to be as soon as I tell you this and get my uh, 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 PR out. <laughs> is that uh, uh, we met each other 40 years ago, uh, uh, 45, uh, 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 because he was good at sound, right? He could do sound and, uh, and work all the new equipment and et cetera, right? Uh, it wasn't easy 40 years ago. You had to know something, right? <laughs> is that, uh, uh, now, and uh, what we had a number of ministers that were not trained. Black and white, right? And, uh, but more black because our denomination was black, right? So what I did was to create a program, seminary without walls. Yeah. See what I mean? And, uh, and, uh, uh, and you could get it for practically nothing. There was no more in the program. Ford Foundation uh, uh, at that time uh, gave me the money I need to develop the idea, all right? My point being is, it's too precious. Education is too precious to have a great country and uneducated people. Can't do it. In fact, people can't live in today's society without knowledge, mm -hmm. all right? It's just that you gotta have something you can do, something you can teach, something you can learn, something you can do, but it's got to be, it's got to be now uh, uh, more about knowledge, 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 huh? And, and, uh, 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 and, there, and we can't play with it because you, people are not gonna be able to live. See, okay. this is what's wrong with the ghettos is if you don't let people have a decent education, don't get mad when they steal. All right, right. I mean, is if somebody is robbing you, right, and you have no way to eat, you're gonna rob somebody else. Okay, are, are you folks in line behind? Well, come, come on down. But if you love people, <laughs> you, you'll get them an education. I'm wondering, um, I'm Amy, I'm from New Jersey, I teach second grade, and I'm wondering, do you think a movement can be successful without music, without a song that unites? Well, I tell you, not if you have to organize people. Is that, uh, uh, see, if you want to organize people on nothing, you've got to have something that, here again, makes them more human, all right? And, uh, and music, it humanizes everybody, right? Uh, 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 and uh, so, no, I, I, in fact, I think if, if, if what, what we discovered, right, the better the music, the more people you can. <laughs> came. In, uh, and more people are willing to do, right? Uh, uh, you, you have cheap music, and uh, you're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't work. Well, just seeing so many of these movements today don't have that music, yeah. and the research that they're, they're learning now about the way the brain works. Have to use the microphone. Have to use the microphone. Sorry. I was going to say, it seems like many movements today, Occupy and some of the others, don't have music. That's it. See and it, with the, what I had said was with the research they're doing on the brain and how music impacts us, I'm wondering if that's why many of these movements aren't really moving. Yeah, uh, see, and that's always a part of it. it it's like when Guy Carawan came around, is that uh, uh, we didn't have any music. We were singing Kiwana songs, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and we really were, I mean, it's no, no, no joke, right? And, the, uh, and, and, uh, and here comes Guy Carawan, right? We were all black, he was white, uh, but he was getting black sources. 
all right? And, uh, and, and he was singing those songs, boy, and patting that foot, right? Southern style, right? And, uh, and everybody fell in line. It makes a difference because you've got to make people know that, they, that you believe they're more human than it seems. You've got to let people know that, that uh, uh, you're, you're human enough to understand them. Hmm? And that you and that uh, and you know they need it, right? Uh, don't think that you can just stand in front of people and read a book, <laughs> and then they'll say, "I got an education." <laughs> <laughs> We've got another question here. Hello, my name is Linda White, and I'm from Peoria, Illinois. Uh, is that right? From yes. Peoria, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, my question for you is: I recently read that Dr. King said you were the best preacher that he ever heard. Yeah. And I'm wondering what it was about... Wait, wait, wait. Well, Martin Luther King said it. Yeah, but Ma too, Ma I read Martin, it. Uh, Obama got it from Martin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yes. In fact, in fact, it's very true. Is that uh, when he first was, was running for, for president, that's what he opened with in, uh, in Alabama and Georgia and so forth. And uh, I, I just hide my head, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so did you get to your question? Well, my question was, what was it about, or is it about your style that was so compelling? Well, at that time, uh, uh, I, 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 I preached like preachers really preach, but with sense. <laughs> something all of us preachers can aspire to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, and, and, and that, and that, uh, uh, that's, that's, that's why that happened, right? Uh, okay. But you see, I'm always chagrined when somebody comes up with that line. I, I, I say, I've heard too many good preachers, doctor. I mean great preachers, you know. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, uh, by the way, uh, oh, oh, oh I, I know, baby, you yeah, yeah. take care of baby. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't mind going on, but uh, okay. I, I, I think I this is going to be the that. last question. Yeah, yeah. this is, I yeah. appreciate baby. Hi, first of all, thank you so much for your time. It's amazing to hear you, so thank yeah. you. Thank you. Um, so, I'm a young person who's been doing a lot with the Black Lives Matter movement, and there are, I think, some other people in the room who have been really activated around that. And you mentioned how we have to prepare ourselves and keep going and expect the road to be long. Uh, but a lot of us talk about burning out and feeling like, how can we share leadership so that all of us don't feel so exhausted at once? So I guess, as a young person who's definitely committed to this for the long haul, what kind of advice would you give me and my comrades and a lot of the folks in this room for us to keep energized, to keep going, even when sometimes it feels really impossible? Read, get all the knowledge you can, find out about all the leaders that have been around, not just black or yellow or pink, right? Uh, where do they come from? Martin got his the basic stuff from Gandhi, right? Gandhi isn't black. Uh, uh, and, uh, but you, you see, but get the best leadership stuff you can get, right? Is that, but uh, let people know that, uh, that you really care for them, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and I, I keep coming back to that because it's just the number one thing, right? Uh, uh, let people know that you really, really care for them. Uh, uh, and, and tell them why, mm. right? And, mm. and, uh, and let them know that, uh, that uh, uh, that's the way to live. See, that's what the church is supposed to be doing, mm. right? Amen. Oh, Thank you. Is that, uh, uh, I hope that's enough, sister. No, that's 
That's All perfect. Right. Okay, good. I, I just love the way you're holding that baby. Remind me of my <laughs> wife. Uh, uh. So, folks, any day that begins with Mark Morrison Reed and ends with C.T. Vivian <laughs> is a day to remember. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, my brother.